Are you in the club? Hey guys, welcome back. It's Amy Jo, and today we are going to be doing the second Jello Peel kit, and this is the Sparkle Kit. If you didn't watch the first Jello Peel video, you should go check it out, but I'll show you quickly. These are some of the things that we made with the Deluxe Kit, and Jello Peel is a brand new line of crafting toys that is coming out soon. You'll be able to find it at Toys R Us and Target. So it's really, really cool and I'm excited to do the second video. So I'll show you what comes in the kit. This is the Sparkle Kit and so it doesn't have quite as many tubes of gel as the Deluxe Kit does. The Deluxe has five different colors of gel and it has more templates than this one, but every little kit comes with the instruction sheet like this, so it shows you how to use it. It shows you different design styles, and then these are the tips and tricks on the back. And these are the templates, and the way that it works is you take the plastic sheet and you tape it onto a level hard surface, or at least that's what's working best for me. You tape it over the template, and then you just draw with the gel to make all of the different things that are on the template. So this looks really complicated, but I love it. So I'm gonna give that one a try in this video. And oh goodness, look how cute this is. So the way that it works is you look at the top and then it shows you like beginner level, intermediate. And so you'll wanna start out with something that is on the easier side if you haven't, if you haven't done it before. And after you get better, you can move on. And of course, this is the advanced level. The earrings, aren't these so cool? You guys are going to love this. These are the tips that you screw onto the tops of the tubes. And this is what you squeeze the gel through. This is the rake tip, the star tip, and then there are three round tips. There's also a little cleaning tool. You use that to scrape the dried gel. I'll show you. So there's like a little plug in the top of each tube and you wanna make sure that you hold on to that. Do not throw that away. So you'll put the tip onto this part of the tube. Let me grab one and show you, like that. So you use this kind of just to draw. And then when you're done, you want to press all of the gel back to the top of the tube and then you put the um, little cap back in like that. The air dries out the gel, so that part is very important. This set also comes with some hardware that you can use to create some of the design. So, gosh, I can't pick that up. <laughs> There's the little pieces for the earrings and then there are some little barrettes that you can use to make this. Isn't that so cute? And before we get started, let's just take a look at our tubes of gel. We have Sparkle Fuchsia, Sparkle Light Pink, and Sparkle Violet. And now we're ready to get started. And we're gonna start at the top and just color right over the template onto our clear sheet. Once you finish the first color, you wait about 15 minutes and then start with the second color. Our second color is the Sparkle Fuchsia. One thing that I do every time I'm done with a color is remove the tip and insert the plug and cap it so that the gel doesn't dry out. Now we'll finish up with the Sparkle Violet and then our cuff will be done and ready to dry. Okay, I very gently removed the tape so that I could lift this up and show you. I'm gonna just pull the plastic away from the template and here is our cuff or bracelet. And now we're going to work on something else while we let this dry. We are gonna make the little hair clip or the barrette next, but I did wanna show you that these templates are so cool because they have all of the directions right on them. So this is really all that you need. There's definitely a lot more information on this sheet, so this is important as well, but as far as actually making the individual things, everything that you need to know is right on here. So that is really cool. When you're using the gel pens, you wanna make sure that you press from the bottom so that 
the top of the gel um, of the pen is full of gel and that will allow you to use steady um, pressure so that you have like a nice even stream of gel. So here we go. Here's our flower. When this is all dry, we're going to peel this off and put it on top of that and then attach it to the clip. But while we wait for that in our bracelet to finish drying, let's make one more thing. Since we haven't done anything using the rake tip yet, I thought we would do that and I'm going to use the template but I'm also going to do something just on my own. One of the things that I like most about these crafting kits is that you have patterns to follow, but you can also totally do your own thing. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're going to, I'm gonna use the template so that I can create a straight line. And I've added the star tip now. So I'm gonna go back and add little stars to the bottom of the bracelet. And then I'm going to write my name or write something on the top there. One thing that's really important is for all of the gel to touch. So you wanna make sure, like right now, I'm making sure that the stars that I'm making touch the bracelet or the straight line. That way it makes sure that they all will stick together. If you don't do that, they could fall right off or they would maybe only be attached like halfway. So here's what I have so far. Now I'm gonna wait a few minutes for that to dry a little bit and then I'm going to finish it by personalizing the top. All right, here we go. I noticed that I made a lowercase o, so I quickly wiped that away with a dry paper towel and <laughs> made a bigger o, so it was all symmetrical. So there is our little customized, personalized bracelet, and now we're gonna wait for everything to dry. Okay, and I have it on. What do you guys think? It looks cool. It's kind of like an ombre effect with the three different colors going from darker to lightest. Aww, I love it. We still have to finish this. We're gonna put a little blob of gel right here and that will sort of glue that into place. And then we need to attach it to the little barrette. But before we do that, Let's peel this off. I'm nervous about my letters. So one of the things that's really cool about this is if you do um, rip it or pull it, see that Y is pretty thin, it's not very thick, so that could tear. And if it does, you just use the gel and you apply more and it works like glue to fix it. So that's really neat. If you check out my first video, you'll see that I had to do a little repair on a bracelet. Oh, yay, we got it! Okay, <laughs> it's kind of long so you can't really see it. I'm gonna twist my arm. A-M-Y-J-O, Amy Jo. Aw, that's so fun! Okay, so now we're gonna finish this. So I'm just gonna put a little blob of gel right in the middle and Place that there and that gel will act like glue and it will hold the little flower onto the big flower. 
And then I'm just reading my instructions, which are right here at the bottom of the template. And it says to put a blob of gel right here, just on the edge of the plastic, clip it down, and then put more gel and attach our flower just like that. And then after it's finished drying, you have an adorable little barrette with a beautiful flower on it. Now this would be really fun because you could do a ton of different things like this and you can buy these little barrettes just about anywhere so you could really get creative. You could get together with all your friends and make all kinds of cool things. Okay guys, well that's all we're gonna do this time. There's still lots of cool things to do and if you guys enjoy these videos and would like to see more, you can leave me a comment or click on the like button to let me know. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Another video, that's the end. Come back soon or we'll miss you, friend. DCTC. We do toy reviews. DCTC. And we play with Play-Doh, too. Skits, pranks, eggs and toys. We make videos for girls and boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right. <laughs>